I want to give you a quick overview of a nice resource we just found, and this is for nonfiction reading, uh, and it's called newsela.com. So when you go to the site, you can sign up for an account, which I did for free. Uh, so I'm in there and signed up with my school email. And what you'll see is kind of set up with like news articles, some different current event things. But what's different about this one is that each article can be read at different uh, Lexile reading levels and also have questions that go along with them. For example, we go in here about this article and the little light bulb next to us tells us that there are some questions that are in there that will address some of the different reading anchors, like what the text says and people, events, and ideas. So when I bring up the article, we'll see over here on the side a reading bar and so I have it set right now for grade level eight. And just by clicking, we can change the reading level, the word count, all of that just from right there. And then the maximum would be basically the original from the newspaper that it came from. They use different newspapers for these articles. The other thing that you'll see is that there is a quiz that goes along with each article. So once a student will be done reading the article, then click on quiz and here since I'm a teacher I can see the preview of the quiz the different questions here I've got four questions this one's asking you to answer the question based on the selection they'll have some parts where they actually ask them to identify a part of the article um, giving their evidence for it uh, for why they got that answer now that's on the teacher side of things so what's this look like for a student. So if I'm going to the site as a student when I click on sign in I do have an option of signing in with my Google account so the first time through the students would have to click on sign up and set up a student account. Um, I've already done that as a student so I'm gonna go ahead and put my sign in with Google. It would then prompt me to put in my Google username and password which I've done previously and then I am in. Now as a student this looks pretty much the same right off the bat. The difference would be up here in the binder. Okay, So if I click into the binder I am in a class from Mr. Senja with two articles that have been assigned to me. So I go ahead and click on the article. The article will load up. Now as a student I can change the reading level but it will first come up to what it believes is the appropriate level for that uh, grade that you made your class for. I can go through, I can read the article, I take the quiz, and then once I am done with the quiz, it submits, I get to see, oh, I got zero out of four, correct. I go through and review and it's showing me those answers that are there. Back on the teacher end of things, if I go in as a teacher to the class that I had set up, my binder, I can see that one student completed a quiz and I can see that it's my student, same name as me, that I got none of them correct. I can set to reset the quiz, have the student take it again um, and move on from there. And as a teacher it's very easy for me to add stuff to that class. So if I go to a category like science, basically any of these articles that have a light bulb have questions with them. So this one here, there's no questions. Maybe I'll give it to students just to read. But if I want to add that article, I basically click on it. I say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and assign it to my one class that I made, I made a gr one called grade 8 demo class. I just click on it to add it in there and you can see it's automatically, since I said this was an 8th grade class, it's automatically selecting that Lexile level for 8th grade. Now the students can always change that Lexile level, there's no way to lock it, but it will default to going uh, first into there. But the main thing is that there's quiz questions asking them to get that information out of the nonfiction reading. If you sign up for an account, once you're in the uh, News ELA site, there's a nice learning and support section which has links to some real great things like a quick start guide for teachers and that will pretty much take you through step by step 
of what you'd need to do to get up and running with some classes.